my name is Frank and welcome to my wood turning channel. Last week I turned a couple of uh, disc shaped vases and this week what I'm going to try to do is turn some wooden flowers. I have some dry wood, some box elder, maple, piece of ash, and then I have some wet wood, uh, some of it's apple, and I'm not even sure what this is but these branches here are wet. So I'm going to try some with the dry wood and see how they work out. And I'm going to try some with the wet wood and maybe I'll color them as well and just see how that works out. I've never made these flowers before, so this is going to be a bit of a learning experience. So just bear with me as I sort of work through the process. So the first thing I'm going to do is to true up all the blanks. Here I'm using a spindle roughing gouge because this is, uh, this is all end grain with the grain of the wood running parallel to the, uh, the bed of the lathe. From uh, what I understand, the best thing to use here is basically a branch because the, uh, the grain runs concentric around the outside. Here I'm just showing that you can also use a bowl gouge to do your roughing out. I'm just using the bottom right hand wing. first piece I'm going to try is the uh, soft maple and here I'm just using the point of the skew to peel back the, uh, the layers of wood. Using some markers, I'm just going to color these up a bit. You can also use other things, like uh, I could paint it with, uh, with an alcohol-based dye, or I could airbrush these things. But for now, I'm just going to use a simple approach of using a, a marker. Now I just simply part these off and that's it. There's no sanding. A uh, very easy, simple process. Now I'm just going to try the same thing with ash wood. And just as a reminder here, I've started all of these off with the dry wood blanks. So first it was maple, and this one is ash, and the next one I'm going to do is box elder.
Well, here's what the flowers look like using the dry wood blanks. The, uh, the little ridges on the outside aren't as fluffy as I'd like. They're, they're very tight. But uh, we'll see how it goes with the wet wood. I'm just going to show you how I keep my skews sharp. I don't go to the grinder very often. Mostly I just use these diamond uh, cards. Uh, first there was the 600, then the 1200 grit. And then later I'll just show you that I also use either a strop or a buffing station to, uh, to get it even sharper. The black wheel is a diamond impregnated wheel used for sharpening knives and uh, things like skews. And then this is a felt wheel. Now notice both wheels are moving in the opposite direction from the blade. They're moving away from me. What I'm looking for here is a mirror-like finish. Now next we're going to move on to the wet wood blanks and I'm just going to chop them up into manageable lengths here on the chop saw. Now I'm just going to rough out these blanks and I'm using the spindle roughing gouge and just notice that I'm switching hands here from time to time and to be a, a really good turner I think it's, it's important to be able to have the flexibility to turn uh, with either hand, right hand or left hand. This wet wood is definitely giving me more of the flower petal effect I was looking for. Yeah, it's a little nicer looking. I've been using just the spindle gouge, parting tool, or even sometimes the skew at the back to help part the flower off.
This time, instead of using the toe of the skew, I'm going to try making the entire flower just using the spindle gouge. And here you can see I'm using the skew to do the parting off. Now I'm using the heel of the skew instead of the, the toe and I'm finding I'm getting better results. I probably should have been using the heel of the skew right from the get-go. Well, here's the end result using the wet wood. You can see the ones at the top aren't quite as good. And then as I did more and more of them and started using the heel of the skew, the ones near the bottom look a lot more interesting. Now I'm just cleaning up the bottoms and then drilling a small hole to, uh, to accept the stem. Well, this was a new challenge, something I've never done before. I'm sort of happy with the results. I mean, I think they could look a lot nicer for people who do them more often, but they're passable. <laughs>